Oh, hello there. Did you forget what's happened? Don't worry, I'll tell you. You see, there's this boy named Eric, and I'm sure you've met him. He's one of the nicer people here at this center we live in. He defends me quite a bit. Something about he and I being the same? Or so he says. I just like to think it's because the doctor likes me, and he uses me as a chance to... Well, argue with the doctor. I don't know how I know this, but I I've got this feeling that a group of four heroes are off in the distance coming to save us. Uh, oh, oh, yes, I'm on my way. I'm sorry, I have to go. Enjoy the story. About two months later, the center decided they were going to do their annual roll call of all the patients. The technical term for it is re-evaluation, examination, and de-alienation, or read. The patients here just call it check day. Side. Back. Open. Next. Name and number, please. Leo Everby, 7211. Side. Back. Open. Next. Name and number, please. Eric Farrell, 1127. Side. Back. Open. Next. Name and number, please. See? I told you it wasn't that bad. Examinations are usually one of the easier parts about being a Gaia in this hellhole of a center, huh? Well, I guess you're Side. Right. Back. Open. Next. Name and number, please. Thomas Valentine, 0201. Ha. <laughs> Newbie on check day? Bad luck. Who? What? I said, who? What? I said, who? Oh. Well, I don't know who he even is, to be honest. He's not a Gaia. He's not marked, like we are. But he's... kind of strange. I mean, how do you even get your hair with all of those streaks in it? Oh, well, I like it. <sighs> oh, hey there, new guy. Hello there. You sound excited. Sorry, what? Just don't try, man. She's special. <laughs> I totally understand. It's cool. So, what are you in here for? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Just help some Gaia supporters into the abandoned city. Huh. That's some serious stuff, newbie. A little bit, I guess. I think I'm doing the right thing, so... Oh, 201! <sighs> Boy, shut your damn mouth and get away from these monsters! You best get out of here, newbie. You'll get sent to punishments. I'll be fine. After all, I like pain. And you two will be okay, too. You just have to hold on a bit longer, okay? Adieu, my friends! I was right. He's weird. Hmm? I should have sent you instead. Xander's good at being people he's not. I know. Alas. Do you need some headache medicine? <sighs> I'm fine, thank you. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Don't worry. He hasn't contacted us yet, has he? He has not. Speak of the devil. Come in, devil's mask. Hello? Cookin' Mama, is that you? Aye. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so like, I found 1127, but that 7211 guy isn't leaving her side. It's like, he wants to protect her or some bullshit like that. He's kind of a downer. The other Gaia. I'm 
gonna have to do some kind of, you know, distraction. A big boom boom. That's reasonable. I'll need hell of a backup if you want this to go well. What, what kind, kind of, of distraction? Help? Well, there's a hell of a lot of guards, and if I don't have help, Miss Get the Girl isn't coming out of there. And we'll have a dead hottie to Bombi on our hands. And honestly, I don't want to die yet. That's reasonable. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta go. The guards are coming around. See you all soon. Stay safe. I promise. I thought we said no explosives. Because I prefer not to cause a ruckus. This team already has a bad enough reputation for blowing things up and shooting things that shouldn't be shot as it is. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Don't worry. If anyone's good with explosives, it's Xander. She does have a point. I always do. Now, let us eat. All right, you bastard. Let's see what there is to see. Ah, it's you, Mr. Polari. Excuse me, it's Miss Polari. In my records, you are a male. Biologically, perhaps, but not mentally. Now. Please, address me by my proper pronouns, or I won't be able to give you the information you'd like. Alright, Miss Polari. How may I assist you today? Just a small congratulations from one scientist to another, I suppose. I've recently received word that you've captured... I mean, received a second-level Gaia. Those haven't been around in forever. She is indeed a lovely specimen. Quiet, well mannered too. Does exactly as she is told. She will be quite the commando when she becomes of age. How did you know I require- She's how old? Sixteen, if I'm correct? Indeed. Two years under she comes of age, then. Two years for you to warp her into terrible disillusions by your trauma, hmm? You say trauma. <laughs> I say enlightened. Tell me this then, James. Mm. Do you still experience human emotions? Of course, my dear. Why would I not? Then how would you feel if your precious second little Gaia was taken from you? What are you planning, Polari? I'm not planning a thing. That's a load of bullshit. Such language, James. Place security measures on prisoners G-7211 and G-1127 now! Oh, we don't want Mr. Farrell. Just Miss Everby. However, we would most definitely not complain if he came along for the ride. Uh, side quest of sorts, you see. If you do anything to my test subjects... It seems as if my allies are there. I will take my leave now. Polari! Uh-uh. It's Miss Polari to you. My pawns are in place, James. Are yours? Thank you for listening to Abandonment. To listen to previous episodes and to hear new ones, subscribe to us on iTunes or on YouTube. Just as a fair warning, our iTunes link will be updated soon, so please stay tuned to our website and Facebook page for more information. New episodes are released bi-weekly on Saturdays. The next episode will be released on March 22nd. Our website is abandonmentpodcast.com, and don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash abandonmentofficial.com.